Absolutely. I want to ask the women in the audience, let's help these poor frail men. They clearly are unsure about what role they should be playing in today's world. So not true. What do we want? Who said it isn't untrue? It's not true. The people who tend to be complaining most about the shift and the change in the roles and what men and women are doing are often women who can't get a man. That's a the black community, Asian community, white community. That is true. Yep. In, the, no, in the black community, this no is one of the hottest way. subjects. And when they have, um, you know, debates, you get 700, 800 people in theatres in London, and 90% of them are women who've come there because they want to work out why they can't find a man. Bridget Jones shows Maybe also right white women as well. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's wrong with having an equal, though? What's wrong with looking for an equal? You're giving out that women look for somebody who earns the same on what What's wrong with that? Why on what do I have to look for a man who's inferior? Partner? Okay, why, why do men look for inferior women all the time? Yeah, because they're true. first threatened. I know personally, modelling is one of the only professions where women make a lot more money than men. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I've had boyfriends who've been really threatened by that, but yeah, they still bludge off me and, and they're happy for me to pay all the rent and buy them everything they want, but they're threatened by it and they get insecure by it. And it's just pathetic. It's like, it's just, I think we should all be equal. If one person makes more money, that's okay. If the other one does, the other one's okay. It's like, it's yeah. just, you're just individuals, you're people, you're sexual, you're sex. Gender shouldn't come into it. Just be a beautiful person and be true to yourself. Exactly. What kind no, of what do women here. want? Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I was asking you all four of you what kind of you know what do men want? I expect all four of you want different things. Yeah. I can't imagine there'd be exactly. like one person in this audience you'd all say yes. That's you exactly. know. So why the differences between the sexes are smaller than the differences between one individual and another? So I think they, they, they might be that. until you come Harry. to the really contentious areas, which are to do with relationships, commitment having children. It's really romance where things get very hot and there are huge disagreements because men and women are very different on that subject. Can I on say one more thing? Sorry, I mean, being a model, I, I can tell you from my experience in seven years modeling internationally that women are far more promiscuous than men. Women are the ones that are getting strangled by the boyfriends at home going, oh baby, when are you coming home? When are you coming home? They're like, oh God, it's so annoying. You always have to leave me to get home. <laughs> women, you know, I mean, it's just everyone in it is an individual. I, I believe that it know? might be that in your profession that models mm. who actually have a very different lifestyle and are obviously Most particularly women. attractive and travel a lot might be more promiscuous. I think this is but absolutely I'll, true what she's saying. Um, well, in I've, my experience, if, I think that in fact, Men go around saying a lot of silly things. We've heard a lot of them today. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. some of the silly things they say is that they would sleep with anything and never turn anything down. That just isn't true. Men do not sleep around nearly half as much as they say they do. And women sleep around a lot more and than they, they say they do. And in fact, <laughs> genetically, we hear that genetically it's supposed to make sense for women, men to sleep around. In fact, genetically, it doesn't make any sense at all because while you're sleeping around, the women you slept with go and sleep with other people so that the babies they have don't belong to you. What really makes sense it's for you well, to good? make sure that the woman you sleep with doesn't sleep with anybody else. I'm unclear how we got onto this subject. That might be unclear, but what is clear from what you're yeah. saying is women are far worse hypocrites and liars than men ever were. Yeah. Well, I personally take that as a compliment. I think that's rather kind of you. Look, I still am anxious to help you out, guys, because it seems to me that the, the gap between Eric and Henry is a sort of light years, isn't it? And somewhere in the middle, maybe it's Smith, maybe it's Eric, there is a role for men in which they can feel themselves to have their own identity, to be hunter-gatherers, but don't have to oppress us, Eric, yeah. as badly as you seem to feel you need to in order to get your own identity straight. So what is the answer for the poor benighted men of today? I think the answer is to, is to learn to walk beside each other. Like, forget, you know, like the, in, no relationship is always equal. You've always got one who loves more at one point or someone who's earning more. I mean, relationships go like that with the power balance, like shifting all the time. And I think women are quite comfortable with that. I think men need to relax into that and recognise, I think number one on most women's wish list is a guy who'll stand beside her, who's on her side, that she can talk to and who listens to her. Exactly. And men are not very good at communicating. A lot of men aren't. You're the exception. A lot of men aren't. So I think woman, if men could, could develop better communication when a woman buys some skills, trousers get a lot and asks you what they look like, what she really means is, does my bum look big in this? <laughs> but you as a man don't yeah. know, you can't read her mind. She shouldn't expect you to read her mind. Women need to chill out as well. And if you told her the truth, your life would be in danger. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. And you see, I, I, I belong to a generation. Eight inches. <laughs>
Okay, I'm telling you, spatial, <laughs> we're not like good green. with space. That looks like, that that looks looks like, like eight to me. Yeah. But I belong to a generation where I would never put on a pair of trousers and ask a man whether I looked okay in mean, a pair exactly. of trousers. I would only ask a woman that because I would only expect yeah, yeah, a woman yeah. to be able but to But these days, me. men get dragged, dragged along to do the shopping and a lot, yeah. a lot of us don't want to. Well, because that, because you know, we won't. Why not? Um, because they get bored. I don't like making anyone bored, but generally guys think, oh, you look good in everything. I mean, it's like, hello, a well, woman. You probably do. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, but a girl will say, no, that looks better or whatever, and a guy will go, oh, you look great, you look great, and they just, you know, and they get bored, and they just so, want to speed it along. So. so men are no good at going shopping with you? Unless, I mean, not, I, I actually don't know, I, that is a generalisation. I do yeah. have one, one of my best friends in the whole wide world who's male, and he's unreal to go shopping with. Yeah, but, I, think, I think another thing, if we're going to accuse men of not being what we want, I think we have to look at ourselves as well, and understand definitely. that, that men... Men, men find their find their identity to work, and maybe we need to understand that, and maybe they need to embrace other things as well, and maybe we need to listen to each other, no matter how boring it might be. But increasingly, yeah. as well, women are going to find themselves through work. Remember, most women, certainly a lot of That's my right. women, we, we are slowly becoming y'all. Yeah, it could be yeah. But, okay, yeah. but the sorts of jobs that men excelled at, the ones that required strength, that, the manufacturing jobs, that sort of thing, are, are dying. Those jobs are, are going. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. And, and but maybe, maybe it's not so bad to be a good husband, to be a good father, to yeah. be a good partner. Maybe it's not so bad to, to be something other than some sort of work machine. I mean, if you identify yourself through, through your work, you lose your job. Who are you? That's right, you and finish. I think that affects all of us. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to say that men are different and women are different, this is the one place where we are the same. And I think that's the real crux. But there is a problem. There is a problem, which is that the world is still run by men. If you have mm -hmm. a look at politics yeah. in this country, well, yeah. on the surface. Right in most countries. if you have a look at, look at your struggles that you had when you were setting your business up, were there any oh. women? No, no. I mean, go to bank managers, they just laugh at you. Solicitors, they just laugh. Estate agents, they, they didn't even want to know. You know, in, in fact, you know, they straight away turn to my husband every single time. They're not even going to listen. So, so that proves the point that men are better, because there's always more men doing more jobs. No, no, no seriously. No. I think what it no, 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 shows is, is, isn't that uh, men are actually better able to rule the world, but they want to rule the world more than women. Nothing more than that. Oh.